Good morning, fitness family. Um, I'm here today in my kitchen. We've got some rain going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I've come up with a kitchen sink workout. It's just going to be a lower body workout, uh, and you don't need anything else. Just give me your all and the kitchen sink, and we'll do some abs at the end, and, um, and we'll get this workout done together, you guys. All right, so let's just start with a march, and let's warm up. So we'll march, and march wide. Good, that's great. Seven, four more, four, three. Let's reach up and over. Here we go, up, up, that's it. Reach through those fingers, and really get that side of the body. Let's go four more, right here, four, three, Two, and lunge across, right, left, across, across. Good. I really feel this in the waist when we do this. We're going to add a twist right here. So just twist. Keep coming up on those toes. Point the toe so you protect your knee. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, and now extend the arms. Push through those fingers. Get nice and long with this. One more. Four, three, two. Lunge up and over. Reach, reach. Get those knees involved, bend legs, and push it across, across. Here we go. Four, three, two, good. Now twist at the waist. Oh, feels good. Four, three, two. Now extend the arms nice and straight. Shoulder height. Push through your fingers. Push. There we go. Four, three, two. Arms down, let's just tap. Just a little tap and march. Bring it in. <clears throat> Good, plant your feet, take a nice deep breath in. Good, and up at the top, and stretch right through those fingertips. Keep your shoulders down, keep smiling. Pull your abs in tight. Make sure your neck is over your spine, spine right over your tailbone. And we'll just go ahead and blow the air out and come forward. From here, reach for your elbows. And you can do a little figure eight. Pull down on those elbows and feel that stretch in the mid to lower part of your back. I love this one. You're going to get my favorite stretch later on after we do the lower body exercises. Lower your hands down and just bend. As you go over to one side, bend the opposite knee. And then straighten that leg and come center. And as you walk your fingertips over to the other side, Bend the opposite knee. Good. And then come center and roll yourself up nice and easy. Yeah, and then the shoulders roll back a couple of times. Good. We're going to take one leg forward, the other one back. Push all the way back, all the way back. Hands on your hips. Drop your knee down. Feel this stretch right here in your hip flexor on the leg that's in the back. Good. Roll your shoulders down and back. Push through that leg in the front. Keep the knee in line with the ankle. You guys know this. Come up. Push through the heel in the back. And get a little bit of a calf stretch. All right, come up on that back toe. Come up, and then bring that leg in, and straighten the front leg. Good. If you can, go ahead and reach for your toes in the front. And then we'll slowly come up. Good. Let's take the other leg forward. One leg forward. The other one back. And sink down, sink down into it. Good. Keep the knee in line. Hands on your hips. Roll the shoulders down and back. Good. We'll come up and we'll push through the heel, getting the calf stretched. Okay, we really got to get this lower body stretched because that's what we're going to target today. Let's take that back leg, come up on the toes, and then just let the front leg, heel digs in. You reach for the toe if you can. Feel that stretch behind the leg that's in front, right down from your calf all the way up to your hamstring. Good. And then we'll release and come up. Let's go right to the sink and <clears throat> stretch out your quads before we get going. So pull your tummies in. You can hold on. That's why we're doing it at the sink. So <clears throat> anyone who has some balance issues, you're going to hold on to the sink the whole time. Um, now, if you feel a little bit more advanced and you want to challenge yourself today, I'll tell you what to do later. Basically, take your hands off the sink and we'll work together. Pull your tummy in tight. 
Press your hips out, get your chin out, level with, I don't know, hopefully you have a window. I have a window I'm looking at. All right, and then release. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing I want you to do is put your hands on the kitchen sink, on the ledge of the sink. Take your legs all the way back, toes are pointed forward, pull your abs in tight. We're just going to start with a set of 12 squats, and I'll cue you in from there. So you go down and squeeze everything up. Don't come up to full standing position. I want you to keep the tension in that quadricep muscle. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. And we're going to do 12 like this, keeping those shoulders down and back. Let's go eight more. Eight. So I'm immediately thinking about being at the park and being right in front of the lake. But I do have a nice view outside. I think we've got about four more. So here we go. Let's go four. You guys keep looking forward because I don't want you to crook your neck. Two more. Two. Hold this last one down and we'll pulse. So we pulse. Two. Three. Four. Make them good. Five. Squeeze and touch. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, come up. So here, you can lead your hands. We're gonna go into a squat with an outer thigh leg lift, moving right into the outer thighs. Um, you can lead your hands right on that ledge, or you can put them on your hips, or you can have them out. Let's just see wherever your body wants to go today. I'm gonna keep them on my hips. Squat, lift, squat, lift, squat, lift. Go as high as you can. Each time you come up, you're getting a nice little crunch your obliques too. So think about that as you're doing this exercise. I'm gonna guess about eight more. Eight, eight. I think next time I gotta get us some music so you don't get bored of listening to me and then it'll help me count. <laughs> Let's go four more. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Come back. You can march your legs out a little bit. We're going to go right back to those squats. This time we're going to make it a little bit harder. Toes pointed forward. You're going to come up on your toes. So heels are going to be lifted. So hands here, here, wherever you're comfortable today. Everybody's workout is going to look different. And the best thing is you're in your own home. So do whatever works for you. Toes nice and forward. Legs wide. Come up. I almost forgot. <laughs> Down and up. Don't forget, you're not coming up to full rest. You can rest after the workout. So if you're really feeling good, you can try this, or you can keep your hands, you can keep them on your hips, whatever works for you guys today. My legs are shaking, I'm sure you're seeing that. Let's try four more. Four, three, two, ooh, let's add a pulse here, right here. Pulse, two, three, four, six, shake your legs, six. <clears throat> All right, come up. Ooh, march out a little bit. Good. All right, back to squat, out of thigh, leg lift. Hands here, hands here, hands here, wherever you want to put them. Squat, lift, squat, lift. So keep your focus to whatever is right in front of you in the sink. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at you guys. But when we get down on the floor, we'll, um, I'll be looking right at you guys. Good. Let's go six more. Six. Six. I'm sure my counting is all off without music, so I really got to try that next time. Four more. Four. Left. Three. in place. Good. Your heart rate should be coming up. Take a little sip of water. Always. Whenever you need it, go ahead and take it. So, fingertips on your ledge. Um, next exercise, lunge. Still working quads. So we're going to start with a lift up with the right knee. Take this knee back into a nice deep lunge. Hopefully you either have your mat out or a rug on the floor. So we're going to start here, lunge down, come up to a knee raise, lunge down. So if this is too much for you, you lunge down, tap. 
If you're okay, lunge down, lift, whatever. Just here to guide you through and get you moving for the day. So think about whatever is best for your body. So you can tap or you can do that knee lift. <clears throat> Let's go four more. Four, less we're gonna hold down a pulse. Three, you should be feeling a little burning on that left side. Two, hold it down here, nice and low, pulse. Keep the shoulders back. <clears throat> Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Back to the front of the sink. A little march, a little smile. Good. Left leg. Bring the left knee up. Take it back right behind you, nice and straight. Pull the shoulders back, pull the abs in. In four, three, two, and one. We go down and left and down and left. Down. There we go. Eight more. Eight. Lift. Definitely building up a little sweat here. Let's do four more. Four, lift, three, two, hold this last one down. Hold it, pulse, pulse, get nice and deep. Come on, you can do this. Come on, you know it. All right, let's go four, three, two, and one. Come up, a little march, a little sip of water. A little sip of water, be happy we're getting this done. Okay, plie squats are next. Hands on the edge of your kitchen sink. Toes out. So think about your alignment once again. If you don't have your butt out like that, pull your tummy in. Straight line from your neck down to your tailbone. Toes nice and wide. Make sure when you plie down that your knees stay in line with your ankles. They can go slightly over to your shoelaces, never over your toes. All right, so here we go. It's down and up, down. Squeeze everything up, down. So I've said it before, think about your body like it's a marionette. Okay, you've got a string right here and you're being pulled straight up. You're not hinged forward like this. Okay, so you can just rest your hands on that edge of the kitchen sink. All right, I think we have at least four more to go. Let's go four. And three, two, and here comes the pulse. You know me, if I'm if nothing else, I do enjoy a good pulse. You feel it right in there. All right, let's keep pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up slow. All right, so just like we did with the squats, um, <clears throat> toes are going to be out for the inner thigh, targeting inner thigh, but we're gonna come up on the toes, heels are gonna lift. So same thing, there we go. It's down and up. And with those heels lifted, getting a little bit deeper into that inner thigh, make sure that you plie nice and low down. The calves should be feeling a little, a little bit of a workout here. <clears throat> We're going to do about six more. Here's six, five, four, three, two more, two, hold down. Guess what? We're going to pulse. Pulse. I'm really feeling this, you guys. I hope you are too. Do four, three, two, and one. Don't forget, lower the heels first. Then slowly come up, and then you can turn your toes in and start to march a little bit. I think it's time for some stretching. So, let's take the hands right on your ledge. Walk your feet way far back. So way far back. You want to get your hamstring stretched first for those lunges that we did. So push your butt back. So I want you to think about <clears throat> getting my feet even a little further back. Um, <clears throat> I want you to think about your tush going way far back as if I'm there in your kitchen with you, I put a belt around your waist, and I'm pulling you back with that belt. 
Okay, so you're looking straight down at your mat or the floor, and your ears are just by your biceps. Don't let your head fall down any lower than that. And just push away. Push your butt away. There you go. Take some deep breaths in. Feels good. This is a great stretch. Loving this stretch. All right, and we'll slowly bring ourselves up and back to the front. <clears throat> Left hand on the, on the kitchen sink, right heel behind, let's stretch out the quads. Okay, try and remain forward, keep your hips squared right to that sink, keep your chin up. If you want to practice on your balance, you release your hand from the sink, you can put it at your hip, you can extend it out, you can hold on to your ear. When you get there, whenever that is, press through your hips. Good, bring the heel up to your tush and squeeze. You've got the right heel up. Squeeze that right butt cheek. Squeeze and open up that hip flexor and quad. And then release. We're going to go to the other side. So, left hand's going to be, uh, right hand on the sink. Bring up your left foot. Okay, make sure there's a slight bend in the supporting leg always. You don't want to lock that knee out. So let's just get that heel there. And then if you're ready or if ready or even want to, arm can extend out, arm can be on your hip, arm could be here, wherever it is for you today. Once you get there and you have your balance, go ahead and press your hips forward. Press, get your chin out nice and long. Good. Now squeeze, squeeze that left butt cheek. Get the heel all the way up to your tush, that knee points down, that left knee. Right knee is, um, that right knee is just a little bent in it, just supporting leg. Yeah, yeah, nice and good. All right, and then my favorite stretch of all, you guys, hands right on that ledge. We're going to start with the right leg, cross it over. It's a figure four stretch. Hop it back if you need to. Cross the right leg right over the left knee. Sit all the way back. So having this ledge here, this edge of the kitchen sink, I can really push my butt all the way back and sink so deep into it and I feel this amazing stretch right here. I hope you feel it too. So delightful. And just hold there, hold, 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 hold. Good. Come up just slightly. If you want, you could stay right in this position, but if you want, you could extend um, your stretch a little bit deeper and get into the inner thigh a little bit by taking your right hand on the right inner thigh, not on the knee, right on the inner thigh. So take a deep breath in, in, and blow it out and push down. Push down, push down. Yeah, yeah. And then come up. And let's go to the other side, just checking my time. I don't have too much time left. So let's get this other stretch in. All right, so left leg crosses over the right knee, sit back. Delightful. Good. And then release the left hand. Put it on the left inner thigh. Take your deep breath in. Deep breath in. Blow down and push down. All right. And then come up. Let's get down on the floor. Get some abs in and a quick cool down. And I think that's going to be my 28 minutes, you guys. So hands right by your side, just slightly behind your tush. Roll your shoulders down and back. Keep your neck nice and long. Lift your knees. Let's crunch in, out, in, out, in, in. So this is really great for you guys. Anybody who has back, um, neck issues, okay, we're not doing a regular crunch. Your neck is staying nice and stable. Do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five. <clears throat> two more. Two. And one. All right. Go ahead and place your feet right down. Um, <clears throat> heels down into the ground. Let's take your fingertips together. You're going to do a Russian twist. You don't even need the weight. You can just take your hand back behind you. Let your eyes follow. Come to center. Back behind you. Eyes follow that hand. Back. And up. And back. And up. Keep that tilt in your body so that you feel 
your abs working. <clears throat> so you're in a V set. And keep going. Let's do four more. Four. And the other side. And three. Keep your shoulders nice and lifted. Keep your neck nice and long. Two more. Two. Yeah, yeah. And one more. We're going to finish off with a one minute plank. And I'll tell you what to do after 30 seconds. So let's swing around. Swing around. You got one minute. Start on your hands. Up. Let's go. Right here, your hands directly underneath your shoulders. You're looking down at your mat. Don't look back at your feet. Push through your heels a little bit. Keep your back nice and flat. So don't forget, nothing's up here. That's downward dog. Right here for this plank. Keep your tummy as tight as anything. Lower abs working here. We're going to get a little bit more, if you want it, we're going to get a little bit more um, outer thigh and inner thigh in. So right here, I'm going to just bring my feet together, toes to touch. Now, you can tap. Just join me. Tap, 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 or jack it out. You've got 20 seconds left like this. 20 seconds. <clears throat> Usually I'm saying you could do anything for 10 seconds. Now I'm telling you you can do anything for 20 seconds. All right, here's 10. <sighs> Keep breathing. You're going to make it. You're going to be so happy when it's all done and you got that workout in. All right, right here. Drop your knees down. All right. Nice. Let's just slide all the way back and walk your fingertips forward. 